Hello all. So if you have an air conditioning uh, and it only works in your vehicle when it's moving or driving, then uh, there could be a few problems, a few things that can cause this. So I thought I'd go over and make a video on it. And uh, just a real quick overview of some common causes and fixes for uh, when the air conditioning only works when, when you're driving. And so, and so the number one cause is, uh, is the condensing fan, which uh, blows air past the condenser and brings down the pressure uh, inside the system, the refrigerant pressure, and allows the system to, to operate and cool inside the car. But uh, basically, if these stop working and you're going over like 20, 30 miles an hour, the air is rushing into the car, so it'll start working. And uh, when you come to a stop, this fan, uh, the condensing fan, is supposed to turn on and start blowing air. Or, or even if you're driving slowly, like under 20 miles an hour, the fan will come on and blow air so that the condenser is constantly getting a flow of fresh air through it. If that stops happening, then it'll only work when you're uh, driving. So that's the number one cause. Uh, if you open up the hood, it'll be right by the radiator. And the condenser is usually right in front of the radiator and it'll have air blowing through it. Sometimes the condenser fan can be combined with, uh, with the engine fan into one fan. But uh, it, quite often it's two different ones. So you have one for the engine and uh, one for the condenser. It could vary, so you have to check on your model of car. But number one cause, condenser fan. Uh, number two is the condenser. The condenser, you could think of much like a radiator. It actually looks kind of like a radiator. It's got fins and air blows through it. And, uh, and as the refrigerant goes through these through it, air blows past and it cools it. So if the condenser gets clogged up with like bugs or whatever gets clogged up in there, no air is gonna be able to get through it and it's not gonna be able to cool. So if you take a hose and blow it out, if it's really dirty, quite often it could help it and fix it. And so uh, the, uh, the next thing is, is the compressor. Sometimes uh, the compressor can fail and it'll stop the system from working. But one thing that, that is more common than that is the clutch, the compressor clutch. It, sometimes it can have a, like an electrical problem, like a short or an open wire. And so it's not engaging all the time. And then it just engages uh, pure, uh, intermittently. And, uh, and sometimes that can happen when you're driving and it just seems like uh, the AC is only working when you're driving. When in reality, it's just a wiring problem and it's, uh, it's related with the compressor. So something else to keep in mind. And number four is the refrigerant level. So as most people know, in AC systems need refrigerant to cool. If it becomes too, too low, then it's gonna cause problems, but also can cause problems if it becomes overfilled. Sometimes people will think that, that the system uh, just automatically needs refrigerant because it's not working and they'll overfill it. And then later if they solve another problem, uh, then they'll still have like a, some weird problem. Like it only cools when it's, when it's driving. And so it's something to keep in mind is uh, while rare is that sometimes overfilling them can also cause uh, as many problems as uh, underfilling them. But that's basically it. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what you can expect and what the causes would be if your air conditioning only works when it's driving. Uh, if you have any questions, ask me down below and I'll try to answer them. But that's basically it. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.